Today I want to share with you the top five principles to making and keeping a large amount of money. Now, money isn't everything, but it's important when you don't have a lot of it. I mean, if you can't pay for a unexpected health problem, that's a huge problem. So, I mean, money's not going to guarantee you happiness or make you more happy in a lot of ways. It might increase it a decent amount, a, a, a you know, slight bit, but it's not everything. It won't guarantee happiness. However, it is important when you don't have it. So I'm going to share with you the five principles uh, that I think are the core introductory basics uh, after... Uh, I have read tons and tons of books and you know studied and watched tons and tons of successful people. So without further ado, let's start with number one. The first principle is you have to understand that there may be mental blocks holding you back. So this goes beyond the scope of this video with going through each mental block. But there's stuff like maybe you were grown up to believe that money is evil or you grew up to believe you know people who have money millionaires are bad people now that's going to block you from ever you know achieving that subconsciously on some level so that's one core principle the second is um understanding the basics bet between how rich and successful people act and unsuccessful people act so again that's a lot of stuff from the habits they have, the perceptions, the mindsets, uh, how they work smarter than people, not harder, how they also work harder, uh, how they manage their time. There's a lot of things that go into it. And again, it's beyond the scope of this course or this video, but it's a principle that is very important to building that money or achieving any goal you set for yourself. The third thing I want to cover is actually maintaining that money so this is huge and this is probably one of the most underestimated and or, or underlooked things and it can cause tons of problems and it's kind of scary I, i've read all these stories uh there's this one book called what i learned losing a million dollars and again there's tons of entrepreneurs uh and you can find these stories hundreds of them on the internet about how they lost it all after they got there. You know, there's books like The First Billion is the Hardest by T. Boone Pickens. Uh, I actually read the whole thing. That one's not necessarily on this topic, even though the title kind of references it is. Uh, but this is very important. And this goes uh, on a lot of different things. A lot of people don't realize the importance of financial literacy and being able to manage your money. Core concepts like spend a lot less than you earn uh, and you know how important time is let's say you make a million dollars let's say it costs you fifty thousand dollars a year to live and that's not even like flamboyantly that's just like fifty thousand dollars a year that means that a million dollars just living very humbly that's going to go bye-bye in like 20 years if you don't do anything to earn more or maintain that now that's scary a lot of people don't even consider that I mean if you go on the street you ask a random person or you ask a homeless guy they're just gonna be like if I'm a millionaire I'm good and that's why you see a lot of people who win the lottery like you see them like three years later all the money's gone all of it's completely gone they don't know how to guard it like their family takes it all sorts of crap so that's that's the uh, principle of you know maintaining the money. Fourth principle is uh, the understanding of money as you know not the end goal. So this is on an even higher level. Sometimes a lot of millionaires they don't even understand this, and then they learn the hard way. So again, this goes way beyond what I can talk about in this video. But I've done like really long videos on this topic like 30 minute discussions on this um, already and the basic idea is well what's the purpose of this money people assume that it will bring them happiness or you know they get to a point where they're spending this money they get to an island or whatever they think is their dream and they're like 
this is kind of stupid. This is kind of boring. I didn't want this anyways. Or they have all this money and they made it in a career or business that they hate. And then they can't step, step away from it because they can't give up making more money. And then they're pretty much the same as a guy who doesn't have money who hates his job. So again, there's a ton more to the story, but that's the general gist. And then the final principle I want you to uh, consider and understand is how much are you willing to work for this or sacrifice or whatever. Now, again, it doesn't have to be all pain and hardships. If you find something that you're really interested in, it can be a much more enjoyable journey than you think. Uh, the hard work is still required, but it may be a lot more enjoyable. So, you know, some people are not willing to sacrifice the smallest of things. They're still spending five hours a week, 10 hours a week, 20 hours a week playing video games or watching movies or television shows. Now, again, m unless you maybe make that into your career somehow because that's what you enjoy, it's gonna be you're going to be hard-pressed doing that when you're trying to build a business or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. So these are things you have to sacrifice. And then maybe there are bigger sacrifices. Uh, now, this isn't a end-all, be-all, you know, like sacrifice or you won't make it. Uh, so that's another huge thing. People think I can't do, I can't, you know, be happy. I can't have free time. I can't have, you know, a chill life. Uh, without, you know, giving up my success. Sometimes you do, maybe for a year, a few years, sometimes you can find a way of doing it without accomplishing, you know, getting there. Uh, so the point is that sometimes you have to give up some stuff. You can't just keep it all. You can't just be like, I'm going to watch 20 hours of TV a week and still accomplish things. Or... You know what? I'm going to have a girlfriend who I spend 20 hours with just like casually spending time watching movies together. And then I'm going to spend another 20 hours of the week uh, playing video games. And then, then another 20 hours, you know, just chilling out, outside. That's not going to happen. However, you know, the reason I say it's not an end-all be-all is because I have seen a lot of successful people say that they regret a lot the fact that they thought it was an end-all be-all so they sacrificed everything they worked 80 hour weeks and then they exhausted themselves and regretted it because they realized you know i didn't have to give up everything you know there's certain things that you can keep you still have a certain level of free time and fun and all sorts of other stuff so those are the you know big principles and this is like the core introductory stuff that you should start considering and learning more about if you want to start making more money. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.